Premier Soccer League club Yada FC has spoken for the first time after snatching former Warriors striker Kama Billiot from Dynamos, Kama, who has been out of contract since June 2023, was expected to join Dynamos from last week. However, other local clubs like Caps United and Manica Diamonds showed interest in his signature, ultimately, it was Yada FC that managed to convince Kama Billiot, much to the chagrin of Dembere fans, when Kama touched down at the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport last night, Yada FC CEO Everson Kadambudza and admirer Mango welcomed him and whisked him away, raising speculation that Yada had snapped him, Yada FC speaks after signing Kama Billiot. Yada FC Kama Billiot, how Yada FC snatched Kama Billiot from under Dynamo's nose, earlier, reports emerged that Yada signed Kama and would loan him to Dynamo's. It does not make sense to pay so much money on a player whose long-term future is subject to fitness and then loan him to Dynamos or any other local team without recovering the money. He will play at Yada and that is why he will be unveiled tonight. Otherwise, Yada cannot unveil him at a function, giving him a Yada kit, and then send him out on a loan. He is different from the likes of Shanderwa, the Yada players who are on loan at Dynamos because they are still young and have contracts that are automatically extended by a year once they go on loan because age is still on their side. With Kama, we are not even sure if he will play beyond this season. Kama Billiot's team in Dynamos had agreed to pay US$20,000 sign-on fees. However, the club wanted to pay US$10,000 now and pay the remainder in June. Kama wanted all the money now. Manica Diamonds then swooped in and agreed with the footballer last Thursday. The deal included a US$20,000 sign-on fee, US$3,500 monthly salary, and a US$500 winning bonus.